Hey there, fellow art enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Peruvian visionary artist, Walter Tamani Arirama. Now, I have to admit, there isn't a whole lot of information out there about this artist, but fear not, my friends, because we're going to make the most of what we've got. Before we delve into Tamani Arirama's biography, let's take a quick detour and talk about psychedelics and something called, the death of the ego. Now, I know what you're thinking, whoa, hold up, what's all this about? Well, my friends, buckle up because we're about to embark on a mind-bending journey. So, what exactly is ego death? Well, it's like a complete loss of subjective self-identity. Picture this, you're floating in a sea of consciousness, detached from your own sense of self. It's a concept that pops up in various contexts, like in Jungian psychology, where they call it, psychic death. It's all about transforming your psyche, undergoing a fundamental change from within. But wait, there's more. Ego death also appears in mythology, particularly in the hero's journey, as described by the legendary Joseph Campbell. It's a phase of surrender and transition, where the hero lets go of their ego and embraces a new version of themselves. It's a theme that echoes throughout different cultures and has even found its way into contemporary Western thinking. Now, here's where things get really interesting. In the realm of psychedelic experiences, ego death is often used interchangeably with ego loss. Imagine taking a trip, not just any trip, but a psychedelic trip. Suddenly, your sense of self dissolves into thin air, leaving you in a state of pure transcendence. This idea was even mentioned in the Tibetan Book of the Dead, among other sources, to describe the ego's demise during an LSD journey. Talk about a wild ride. But hold on, my friends, because we're not done yet. Ego death isn't just confined to the realm of psychedelics. It has also made its way into contemporary spirituality and the understanding of Eastern religions. It's all about letting go of that attachment to a separate sense of self and embracing a more selfless, interconnected perspective. It's like saying goodbye to self-centeredness and hello to a greater understanding of the world around us. Now, let's circle back to our main focus, the enigmatic Walter Tamani Arirama. While we may not have a wealth of information about this artist, we can't help but wonder how these concepts of ego death and transformation might have influenced his work. Perhaps his art serves as a visual representation of these profound experiences, inviting us to question our own sense of self and explore the depths of our consciousness. So, my friends, as we wrap up this whirlwind exploration of Walter Tamani Arirama and the intriguing concepts of ego death, psychedelics, and transformation, let's remember that sometimes, the most captivating artists are the ones shrouded in mystery. And who knows, maybe one day we'll uncover more about this visionary Peruvian artist and the incredible stories behind his captivating creations. Until then, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep embracing the unknown. This is your funny American YouTuber signing off. Stay curious, my friends. Thank you.